Trans-Canada Highway west of Banff is reopened after a mudslide shut it down Friday. It left thousands of people trapped on the highway, and while it's cleaned up now, Parks Canada is warning conditions are ripe for more mudslides, and it is warning travelers to be prepared. Kevin Green visited the area today. West of Banff, the Trans-Canada Highway is reopened, but crews still scoop out a soupy mess of mud, rocks, and trees. Friday, a meter or more of mud slurped across the highway. The Trans-Canada was closed. It was traffic chaos. From the air, you can see just how far traffic backed up. Eventually, it got so bad, the park gates were closed to westbound traffic. We spent the night on the road waiting for it to be open. Gabriel Cunha was in that mess of cars. He came from Brazil to attend a friend's wedding and he missed it. Oh, so frustrated. We, are, we feel, feel very, really bad for them because uh, I think uh, we traveled something around 15,000 kilometers to get here and we couldn't get to the party. And you were so 20 a, kilometers away. Yeah, yeah, just 20 kilometers away. That's so bad. In fact, almost a third of the people heading to the Chateau Lake Louise for the Marinka de Souza wedding didn't make it. Disappointing, I would imagine. Oh, very much so, especially for the bride and the groom and the parents. And if it seems like there have been more mudslides than usual this year, you're right. A heavy snowpack and lots of rain means conditions are perfect for them. The ground is still saturated. We're not in a, in a dry period right now. So all it takes is a, is a thunderstorm to uh, provide a little bit of extra um, water and precipitation, and that will set these things off. And that means there could be more mudslides. Parks Canada's advice? Plan ahead plot an alternate route and pack as if you'll be spending a night or two in your car, a lesson thousands of travelers learned the hard way on Friday. Kevin Green, CTV News, Banff.